This bulk email generator tool can generate unlimited email addresses for your business with just a click of a button. Yes, with just a click of a button, you can generate thousands of emails for every country in the world. But before we get into it, let me ask you this. Did you know that almost everyone, including myself, uses their first name and surname to create their email addresses? In fact, nearly 80% of the world's population does the same. It will be hard for me to use someone else's name to create my email address. I believe that applies to you as well. And the exciting part, let's say I'm trying to make an email address using my name and I get this error message that the name has already been used. Because I still want to maintain my name, I will add some random numbers and create the email. This same method is almost used by everyone including yourself. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to generate and validate bulk emails with just a click of a button. So first, let's get the tools then I will walk you through how they work. To get the tool, visit franksarena.com. Click on the bulk email generator and validator. I'm going to make a purchase, then we proceed. Alright, payment has been done. Next we need to wait till the pending changes to completed to get the download link to the tools. Once it's completed, click on continue to begin the download. After downloading to your computer, extract it. After extracting the main file, you will get access to two zip files, one for the bulk email generator and the other for the validator. Let's generate the emails first before we come to the validator. And before you extract the email generator file, make sure to turn off your Windows Defender. Alright, so this is how the email generator works. It has a database which you can edit and add your own data. Inside the database, it has the most common used first names and surnames in multiple countries. So as stated before, you can add your own data here. Let's take the United States as an example. In USA, they have common names that are mostly used by a lot of people. Let's use surname Smith as an example. The name Smith is used by many people as their surname, such as Anthony Smith, Jennifer Smith, Sarah Smith, and more. This also applies to all countries in the world, so that's how the email generator works. It will pick the first names and surnames from the database and generate the emails. So these are all most used first and surnames by other countries. As I stated earlier, you can add your own data here. In the email list folder, you will find all your generated emails. Now let's run the tool and show you how it works. Alright, so this is the dashboard of the email generator tool. To get started, click on Start Engine Now. This is the first step. In step 1, you will choose the first name and the surname from the database based on the country you want to generate the emails for. The database contains a list of first and surnames of multiple countries, so assuming I want to generate emails for Australia, I will choose the first and last names of Australia from the database. But I prefer to target USA, so I will choose the first and surnames of USA from the database.
When you are done, click Import Names and go to the next step. In step 2, you will be asked to enter the name of the email service provider whose email addresses you want to generate. For instance, if you want to target people who uses Yahoo or Gmail or Outlook, then you put it here. But I prefer Gmail, so I will put here gmail.com. When you're done, click Next. Step 3 is optional. You see some people when they are creating their email addresses, they try to add random words or numbers to their emails. The step 3 is all about if you want to add random words or number before or after the email addresses, then you type them here. When you're done, click Next. And they bring us to the final part which is step 4. In step 4, you're going to save the generated emails. This will be saved in the email list folder. So all you have to do is to name how you want to save the file and click generate email list. Now, if you want to add random number at the end of every generated email address, then you check this box before you click on the generate email list button to generate the emails. Now this tool generates 3783 email addresses at every single click and save them in a txt file. So if you want to generate more and more email addresses, all you have to do is just give it a new name and click generate to generate another set of email addresses. You can repeat this unlimited times to generate unlimited emails. So it has generated 3783 different email addresses and has saved them in the email list folder. As I stated earlier, you can repeat same process to generate unlimited emails by renaming the file. You can also click on this Get Super Tips button to learn more about generating more emails using different service providers and different techniques. So I have generated three sets of email addresses, with each containing 3,783 different emails in each file. When you are done generating the emails, click on the View Email List button to view your generated email addresses. So these are the three sets of email addresses I generated, and each file contains 3,783 different email addresses. So as stated earlier, you can repeat same process to generate unlimited emails. So that's the emails. Now before we move to the validation part, let me walk you through one more time and generate different set of emails using different email service provider. Again, first click on Start Engine. Next, select the first and surnames of the country you want to target from the database. But I'm still going target USA so I will maintain the default ones. But before I proceed, let me explain the separator part for more clarification. Note this, each email service provider has a separator they accept when creating email address on their website. Let's use Yahoo as an example. So I'm going to pretend and create a Yahoo email address and show you what I mean. So this is what I was talking about that each email service provider has their own separator they accept. So from the error I'm getting, I tried to use dash to separate my email address, but Yahoo prompted me that they only allow period and underscores as a separator. So meaning that if I use dash as a separator to generate Yahoo email addresses with the email generator tool, automatically all the emails is going to be invalid since I used the wrong separator. So I wanted to caution you to check the separator you're going to use in the emails you're going to generate provided you would want to add a separator. You see a lot of people add these separators in their emails when creating them, so you can add those separators if you want. Everything depends on you and how you want it. But for me, I'm not going to include it. Next is the email service provider you want to target. This time around, I'm going to use Yahoo! Again, the keyword part is optional, so you can ignore this part. But I want to add 54 at the end of every generated email address, so I'm going to put it at this field. Next, name your email list file and click Generate.
So as you can see, every email has 54 at the end, and that's because of the number I added at the keywords section. So that's how this bulk email generator tool works. Now let's move to the validation part and validate the email addresses I have generated. This email validation tool is 100% free. So I decided to add it to the generator tool to validate your generated emails. So let's get into it. First, click on the import txt button and import one of the email addresses you generated. Using this free email validation tool, you can only validate 50,000 emails per day, which is enough. Next, after importing the email lists, click on Start Validation button to begin the validation. So let's wait while it validates. Alright, so the validation has completed. And out of 3,783 emails, I got 2,144 emails to be valid and 1,639 to be invalid which is great. This is so huge because if for every validation you're getting more than 2,000 emails to be valid out of 3,783, then you can get a lot of valid emails from this method. Now let's check and see if the valid ones are truly valid or not. And to view the validated emails, click on View Email button. Then Save. So now let's check the valid emails on the email service provider if they are truly valid or not. So since it's asking for a password after I tried to log in, then it's a proof that the email is valid. Let's try different valid emails. This is also indeed valid, so this proves the email validator works perfectly and provide real results. Now let's check the invalid emails and see. I couldn't log in meaning it's truly invalid. This one also didn't go through. That bring us to the end of this video. You can use these tools to generate and validate unlimited emails. Again, note that the email validation is 100% free, but I just included to the bulk email generator tool to help you validate your emails for free.